Carol Fox. Good evening, Carol Fox, Gainesville. Uh, tonight I want to talk to you about teachers' unions and collective bargainings, and they're really good for teachers, but they're bad for students and parents. The early focus on teachers' unions and collective bargaining was in raising teachers' pay, benefits, working conditions, and creating tenure for the teachers. This was good for the teacher. In the 1960s, 70s, and 80s, teachers' unions blossomed, and all of the pay for all the teachers went up. How did it affect students? Well, the SAT scores dropped. The third grade reading level, which is the um, benchmark for student success in school, dropped. Graduation dropped. So does collective bargaining really affect and help school, uh, schools? Well, it helps the teacher, but it doesn't help the students or the parents. Uh, Terry Moore, professor at Stanford University, has found that collective bargaining does not ensure any success for students in schools. As a matter of fact, it can create obstacles for student success. The NEA spends half of their millions of dollars on collective bargaining, and the rest of it, it spends on election politics. From the VEA, the Virginia Education Association's website, their goal is to have greater school funding, better pay for the teachers, and elect pro-public education candidates locally and statewide. This is electioneering. engineering. Where is the better pay, working conditions, and electioneering, and the student involved in this? They're not. Where is the parent who fits, foots all of these bills, who built this room, who built all the schools, who pays the salaries of you, who pays the salaries of the teachers that are sitting behind me? They have no seat at the table. Their seat at the table is you, the elected officials. If you give collective bargaining to the teachers, the seat at the table for the parents goes away. The seat at the table for the students goes away. You become a tool of the unions and of, because they own you from the money that they put into your uh, re-election or the, your election to the school board. So remember that all of these items, as far as unions and money that's put into you, is electioneering, and you're responsible to the parents. You're responsible to the students. So that is why I say collective bargaining is not a thing for Prince William County and should not be considered by the school board. Thank you very much.